For the kids, we've got the creator of Rasta Mouse coming up onto the stage now. He's going to perform a couple of songs for you and uh, probably take some questions from you if you want to ask any. So, uh, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Michael D'Souza. Hello. Hold on a minute, you know I'm not used to microphones, folks. Good afternoon, it's Michael D'Souza here. Um, what I wanted to do today was introduce you to my new character, who's Little Bruh. Now, Little Bruh is a little rhymer, and he wants to make sure that everyone can recite a rhyme. So I'll tell you what we'll do, folks. If you get around a little bit, you'll start off with the first rhyme, and you don't have to learn this one. You don't have to recite it, you just have to repeat it after me. Are you with me, folks? Right, we're ready? And it's called Health and Safety. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Whatever you pick, from your nose, please don't wipe it, on your clothes, please don't flick it, on the floor, or try to kick it out the door. Please don't roll it in a ball and try to stick it on a wall. Please don't wipe it on your sleeve. Try to find a tissue, please. Thank you, folks. Right, now listen, what we're going to do, I've got a few little prizes in here, right? So all I want someone to do is recite a rhyme for me, okay? This is what we're going to do. If you recite the rhyme, then you can get a little prize. Now this is the first rhyme, and it's called Fluffy Heap. See so if you can remember this. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Little bruv had a fluffy dog. A fluffy, fluffy heap. Everywhere he walked that dog, people thought it was a sheep. Bark. Now who can remember that? Can anyone remember that? Come with me, come with me, come up the stairs. Let me hear. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, young friend of mine is going to remember fluffy heap. Let's go. Oh, fabulous. Can you remember it? Little brother the fluffy dog. All right, hold on, folks. Let me hear. Right, now listen, folks, we got another one, and this is called Auntie Dear. Who's going to try to remember Auntie Dear? Are you ready? Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Dear. Why you always comb my hair? Why you always wipe my nose? And help me put on all my clothes. Because, my dear, you're only two. And still in training for the loo. Can anybody around this area remember it? Hold on a minute. Let's go.
boat, I think everyone's getting a hang of it. Listen, let's try a new one. This is called, this is called Playful Cat. Are you ready, folks? Nice and lovely. Ready? I have a cat. He's very, very fat. He sleeps all day. And he won't chase a rat. I had a computer. Delivered to my house. The cat spent the day playing with the mouse. Hold on a minute. Can you remember it? Can you remember it? Can you remember it, Daddy dear? Let's try one more time. Ready? Let me see if you can remember it, Dad, and represent Batman, okay? You ready? All together. I have a cat. I have a cat. He's very, very fat. He sleeps, he sleeps all day and he won't chase a rat. I have the computer delivered to my house. The cat's the day with the mouse. Can you remember it, Dad? Come with me, Dad. You represent the family. Folks, cheer Dad on. Let's go. I have a cat. He's very, very fat. Sleeps all day, but he won't chase a rat. I had a computer to deliver to my house. Can't spend the day playing with a mouse. Give him a clap! I didn't even help him once. Oh, you go, oh, fabulous. Right, listen, folks, I just wanted to tell you I'm from London, right? And London is supposed to be quite a nice, popular place. But I've been living there for a few years and I've discovered something very, very important about London. So I've written this poem, it's called The Streets of London. Okay, would you join me with it, folks? Say, the streets of London are paved with gold. Or so the story has always been told. I'll tell you now, and this is true. The streets of London are paved with poo. Now who can remember that sort of business? Come on mum, you can remember it. Let's go. Let's go. The streets of London are paved with gold. A soldier story is all been told. I tell you now and this is true. The streets of London are paved with poo. The streets of London? Let me see. Let's go, Mark. Come on, let's go. The streets of London are paved with gold. And the same story has always been told. I tell you now, and this is true, the streets of London are paved with gold. Fabulous! Right, here I'm asking, so you give me this one. Right, we've got, we've got a couple more. Right, folks, now listen. You're gonna have to, oh, excuse me, let me ask. Uh, have you got good memory? Excuse me, you're trying to trick me. We're gonna give you a rhyme. We're gonna give you a rhyme and you're gonna represent the family. Are you right? This is a simple one, right, folks? It's called Sugar. Are you ready? And everyone repeat after me. I'm going to help, you're going to help me in a minute. Right, you ready? Say, sugar, oh sugar, you are so sweet. What a lovely thing to eat. Sugar, oh sugar, you are so sweet. You've run off with all my teeth. Can you remember that one? Come with me. Ladies and gentlemen, sugar, oh sugar. Sugar, oh sugar, you are so sweet. What a lovely thing to eat. Sugar, oh sugar, you are so sweet. You've run off with all my teeth. Great, listen, folks, I think you've been doing good with this stuff. Let me just try a little one for you. We're going to do this one called Honest Guy. Honest Guy, are you ready? Pick 
Pinocchio was an honest guy until he decided that he could lie. He'd soon regret the life he chose. He paid the price with his nose. Can you say that for us? Come with me, Mrs. Helping. Listen, this is to say that you come later to school and I give you something a little tricky, okay? Right, let me see. Who else has got great memory around this area? Who else has got great memory around this area? Let me see. Alright, folks. Have you got good memory? Is it? Listen, I'll tell you what, folks. Seeing as there's so many young children, I'm going to give you my, one of my latest business. And it's called Message from an Ex Baby. Message from an Ex Baby. Are we ready? Let's go. Ready? I will tell you why I'm happy. I no longer wear a nappy. I no longer use a dummy. Ask my daddy or my mummy. Oh, uh, but a spunk did you ever go? Let's go, let's go. This is for a message from an ex baby by mummy. Let me tell you why I'm happy. I no longer wear a nappy. Could you see this, please? I no longer use a dummy. Ask my daddy or my mummy. Congratulations, good work, work. And this is, so you can do this later or should we do something? I'm over in the corner, right? Folks, now listen, I've got to try and pick some people that I know I've got to find. Excuse me, have you got good memory, sir? Hold on a minute, what do you mean by that? Try for me, we'll give you a quick one. You going to try? Oh, come on. Are you, are you serious? All right, I'll tell you what, we're ready? Let's go, this is called, this is called a dish. Are you ready? Once I've made my mum a dish. Once I've made my mum a dish. Of chicken bones and rotten fish. I also made some maggot stew. And mixed it up with custard goo. I thought my mummy would be sick. The way she ate it up so quick. Instead she said, oh what a treat. You really know what I love to eat. Oh, fabulous. Can anybody remember that one? No way? No way? Alright, I'll tell you what we'll do, right? We're coming towards the end, so I'm going to give you a special one. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can you, have you got good memory? Try your best, right? This is called, you know what I mean? Folks, it's called, you know what I mean? Can you say, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now, everyone, please, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right, this is how it goes, right? Ready? Say, little bruv says, get me, bruv. Little bruv says, get me, bruv. Everywhere he goes. Always says it to his friends. Always says it to his friends. And everyone he knows. He said it to his fluffy dog. Said it to his fluffy dog. And to his playful cat. To his playful cat. He went down in a basement once. And said it to a rat. He said it to Elizabeth. Her Majesty the Queen. And she replied, I get you, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Little bro says, get me bro, everywhere he goes. He always says it to his friends, 
and everyone he knows. He said it to his fluffy dog and to his playful cat. He went down in the basement once and said it to a rat. He said it to Elizabeth, the Majesty of the Queen. And she replied, I get you, bro. You know what I mean? I get it signed. Yeah, fabulous. Folks, I think you're really good. Now, listen, I want to just finish off with one thing, folks. Now, with little bro, he believes through Ryan we can teach you anything. So, what we're going to try and do is teach you a little bit of Italian. Right? Just a little bit of Italian. Don't worry. All you've got to do is repeat the rhyme. Are we ready? Say. Alright, let's go. Nice and loud, folks. Are you ready, Signor? If you plan to leave your home, then take a trip to Venice, Milan, or Rome. Here's a lesson that you can learn. So you sound Italian when you return. Piede is feet. Piede is feet. Dente is teeth. Strada is street. Dolce is sweet. Guarda is look. Libra is book. Count the seconds. That short lesson took. Piede is Dente is Strada is Dolce is Guarda is Look And Libra is Fabulation Do yourself a clap Come with me You can collect something a little bit later on There you go Now folks I want to finish up with one more business Right folks Yeah we have one more business, and this is called I Have a Fish. The youngsters may not relate to it fully, but I'm sure the adults will, and it's called I Have a Fish. Folks, can we say it nice and loud? I had a fish. I kept him in a tank. But he looked to go to New York to see a singer called Frank. He listened to Frank music each and every day he took in every word that Frank had to say I came home one day and the fish had fled but he left me a note and this is what it said sorry my friend there's nothing more to say I've gone to see Frank, and I did it my way. <laughs> oh, thank you, folks. Thank you. Michael the Souza, everybody, give a massive round of applause. Great for a rest of it.